assalamu alaikum welcome to wetlek today i am going to discuss the anatomy of digits of four paw of dog digits are the last part of menus of dog and there are total five digits in case of dog in, in the four paw of dog these digits are named according to their numbering and their numbering starts from the medial aspect towards the lateral aspect so we have a uh, first digit then second digit third digit fourth digit and fifth digit first digit is present medially and fifth digit is present at the lateral aspect of four paw of dog then each digit further contains three phalanges while in case of first digit there are only two phalanges this first digit is also known as dew claw and it is the only non weight bearing uh, digit of dog while the other four digits are weight bearing in case of dog in some uh, breeds of dog there are also two dew claws within the same paw so it varies from breed to breed names of the phalanges present in a digit are based upon their location within the digit like we have a uh, first phalanx which is also known as proximal phalanx as it as it is present uh, uh, in the proximal aspect then we have middle phalanx or second phalanx and uh, at last we have third phalanx or distal phalanx so there are three phalanges uh, in the second third fourth and fifth digit while in case of first digit there are only two phalanges and these are proximal phalanx and distal phalanx let's discuss the anatomy of each phalanx one by one the first phalanx of dog which is the proximal phalanx is a four sided shaft which is slightly curved and it is long Uh, it contains a long body it has total three parts one is the base then uh, comes the body and finally we have head so uh, there are three parts of first phalanx uh, the base of the uh, first phalanx is present proximally and this base contains an articular surface for articulation with the metacarpal bones while palmarly at the palmar aspect of the uh, first phalanx there is a deep notch as you can see in the picture there is a deep notch which is present at the palmar aspect of uh, proximal phalanx or first phalanx then after this uh, proximal extremity or proximal aspect there comes the body of first phalanx which is a long uh, long body then comes the distal aspect of first phalanx which contains a trochlea for articulation with the second phalanx at the lateral side of uh, distal end of first phalanx there is a depression Uh, for the ligamentous attachment so uh, in this depression at this depression uh, ligaments are attached and this uh, depression is present at the lateral aspect of uh, proximal phalanx or first phalanx the second phalanx is shorter than the first phalanx and it is about 2/3 the length of uh, first phalanx proximally the second phalanx contains an articular surface which contains two cavities separated by a sagittal ridge while the distal aspect of second phalanx is comparatively wider than the first phalanx and between this uh, distal aspect and proximal aspect of second phalanx there is a short body of uh, second phalanx so this was about the first two phalanges of now let's discuss the anatomy of third phalanx of dog third phalanges are modified to form a claw each claw is a finger nail like structure covering a cone shaped tapered process known as angle process just proximal to this angle process there is angle crest that overlaps this claw and forms a band of bone around the proximal end of claw so this is the uh, third phalanx of now in distal phalanx here we have base of uh, distal phalanx and here we have flexor tubercle this distal uh, this base of distal phalanx uh, is present dorsally this is the dorsal aspect of uh, uh, four paw while this is the palmar aspect so here we have base of distal phalanx and here we have flexor tubercle and this uh, base of uh, distal phalanx is also known as extensor process 
Oh, the base of distal phalanx contains insertion for common digital extensor tendon. This base contains insertion for common digital extensor tendon and therefore uh, it is also known as extensor process. While at the palmar end uh, we have flexor tubercle and this flexor tubercle also contains insertion for deep digital flexor tendon. Here we have deep digital flexor tendon. Uh, so here we have uh, insertion for deep digital uh, flexor tendon at the palmar aspect of uh, third phalanx or distal phalanx and therefore uh, this tubercle is known as flexor tubercle as it is uh, providing the site for insertion of digital flexor tendon. Now let's discuss the uh, sesamoid bones which are present in the digits of uh, dog. There, there are uh, sesamoid bones which are present between the first digit and metacarpal bone and first digit and second digit. Now between the metacarpal bone and first digit there are further uh, two categories of these sesamoid bones. One uh, total nine sesamoid bones are present at the palmar aspect between the first digit and metacarpal bone while four sesamoid bones are present at the dorsal aspect between the metacarpal bone and first digit first phalanx sorry while the sesamoid bones which are present between the first phalanx and second phalanx uh, are present at the distal aspect of first phalanx and these are actually uh, cartilaginous uh, bones so the sesamoid bones which are present between the uh, metacarpal bones and first phalanges at the palmar aspect are total 9 in number between the first uh, first phalanx and first metacarpal bone only one sesamoid bone is present at the palmar aspect while between the second third fourth and fifth uh, phalanx and second third fourth and fifth metacarpal bone two sesamoid bones are present uh, between each uh, each metacarpal bone and each phalanx so simply two meta uh, two sesamoid bones are present uh, at the metacarpophalangeal joint of the chief uh, chief digits while on the first digit single flattened sesamoid bone is present these are uh, these are the proximal palmar sesamoid bones now let's discuss the uh, proximal dorsal, dorsal sesamoid bones the proximal dorsal sesamoid bones are also known as nodular sesamoid bones and these are also present between the metacarpophalangeal joint. Between the first metacarpal and first phalanx, there is no dorsal, uh, proximal dorsal uh, sesamoid bone. So in case of first digit, uh, first uh, phalanx, we have proximal palmar sesamoid bones and proximal dorsal sesamoid bones, which are also known as proximal uh, nodular sesamoid bones. While distally, we have distal palmar sesamoid bones which are actually uh, cartilaginous in nature so this was all about the uh, digits of four paw of dog thank you